Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about identifying and using gray stones. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll talk about how to identify and use the four types of gray stones in NetHacks. In NetHack, those types are lodestones, touchstones, luck stones, and flint stones. All four of those appear as gray stones when you see them as opposed to rocks, which self-identify as rocks. So let's talk about the attributes of each one. Lodestones uh, are very heavy. You don't want to pick them up. If you do, uh, you'll probably be stressed. And since they are normally cursed, you can't drop them. So never pick up a lodestone. Touchstones. Uh, rubbing a blessed touchstone on a gem identifies it. So they're very useful to tell the difference between worthless glass and, and all the other uh, valuable gems. Luck stones are great. They're part of most ascension kits. They will increase your luck when you carry them, and they prevent your good luck from timing out. That's the way you can, you can raise your luck up to extremely lucky, and it'll stay that way. Flint stones, they're not much good for anything except for maybe slinging or, or uh, throwing up monsters. All right, let's talk about how to identify the four uh, types of gray stones. So you see me here in NetHack. <laughs> I've got three things that appear like rocks. Uh, the first one appears as a gray stone. This one appears like a rock, so I know it's just a regular rock. This one also appears like a gray stone. So two different gray stones and, and a rock here. The first thing you want to do to identify a gray stone is try the kick test on it. Kick it, but not into a wall. Kick it somewhere else. So I'm going to uh, control D. Whoops. <laughs> direction. Um, if you kick it and it does not move at all, it's probably a, uh, a lodestone. Don't pick it up, just ignore it. Um, this other gray stone, let's find out if it's a gray stone or not. I'm going to kick it a little bit up diagonally. Oh, no shape for kicking because I kicked a lodestone. There we go. 22 dot control D. That one moved. It's not a lodestone. If it ever moves more than two spaces, it's not a lodestone. All right, so the first thing you do is is kick it. You may want to take your take off your gauntlets of power first because it is possible to move a lodestone in some cases, but I'm strength 25 with my gauntlets of power and I can't move that one. If you find a gray stone in a chest, uh, use the tip command, hashtag tip, to tip it out of the chest first and then do the kick test on it. And then, unless it's a lodestone, you want to pick it up. Uh, the, so I'm going to pick up this gray stone, but not that one. The next thing you want to do is check to see if it's a touchstone. I'll pick this up, and I got V, a gray stone. The way you check to see if it's a touchstone is you rub it on an iron item like a pickaxe or a da dagger. So that's V. I'm going to apply V. What do you want to rub it on? I'll rub it on my pickaxe. If you make scratch marks on the stone, it is not a touchstone. If uh, you make a scritch, scritch sound, it is a touchstone. So you bless it and then rub gems on it, and it will identify the dem gems. <laughs> um, the next thing you want to do is check to see if it's a luck stone. And an easy way to do that is drop it in a general store or a jewelry store. If the shopkeeper offers you money, it's a luck stone. Don't sell it. Pick it up. Uh, maybe bless it, keep it in your main inventory for the luck benefits. If the shopkeeper does not offer you any money, it's a flint stone. And you should um, you should uh, name your gems so you can identify, you can tell again. Like I m might want to name that uh, stone that I just picked up flint because it just so happens that in this game I've already identified touch stones and luck stones. So that's how you identify the four types of stone. Kick it if it's not a if it uh, doesn't move, it's a lodestone. Don't pick it up. Otherwise, pick it up. Uh, then you rub it on a iron item. If it makes a scritch, scritch sound, it's a uh, touchstone. Bless it and use it to identify your gems. Drop it in a general store or a jewelry store. If the shopkeeper offers you money, it's a luck stone. Keep it with you. For my last demonstration here, I'm going to go ahead and pick up that uh, lodestone. I told you never to do that, but I'm going to pick it up so you can see what happens. I'll pick up this gray, gray stone. I have trouble if it, oh, I'm just burdened because I have my gauntlets of power on. But typically you'll be stressed. Let's take off the gauntlets of power. Take off G. Huh, still only burdened, so I'm not carrying very much. Wear my gauntlets. Um, look at my, my uh, gems. 
and you can see that I have the two gray stones. I know that V is a flint stone, but W is going to be a lodestone. I'm going to go ahead and apply my touchstone, rub it on each of those. Apply, uh, apply O first on the W, that's a lodestone. Apply O on the V, that's a flint stone. Now I can dip my lodestone in a potion of, of uh, holy water or read a scroll of um, remove curse or pray. There are several ways to get rid of the curse. Uh, then you can drop the stone and move on with your game. That's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise NetHack video about identifying and using gray stones in NetHack. Thank you for watching.